Howdy. So I'm getting ready to change uh, the stabilizer jacks. I think it's going to be a bit of an upgrade. Uh, I think the ones that came with the trailer are rated for 2,500 pounds. The ones I, that I got from Amazon is rated for 5,000 pounds each. So hopefully um, it's a fix plus an upgrade. But uh, let me just show you what I'm seeing right now on the trailer. All right, here's the trailer. And basically here's the frame. So what happens is the jacks themselves are connected to these frame units. And these frames are screwed into the, the beams here. So these guys seem to be okay. Um, but the parts, I'll show you in a bit, that connects to this uh, was jacked up. I'll come around to this side and you'll see that it's largely the same thing. So what I basically need to do is to take the, these parts off of the new stabilizer jacks and then just attach it from here. So hopefully it won't be too bad. All right, so here's everything unpacked. They also give you all the nuts and bolts, and then a couple of the sockets, and a drill in case you needed to drill holes, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm gonna move these two brackets. I'm gonna crank this open. We'll see about installing one, and then I'll report back. Alright, that didn't work. So I took these bolts off. But the plate's not coming off. So I think we're gonna have to go the full route. I'm gonna get these bolts back on. Hopefully I haven't um, damaged the integrity of it. We're gonna have to take the plates off of the trailer to kind of replace it. So. Okay, another plot twist. The holes on these brackets, they don't exactly match up with the holes on the pre-existing uh, beams on the trailer. So what I'm gonna have to do is drill one hole. Hopefully that'll be enough to hold the uh, stabilizer jacks in place. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. to go now that I know that um, everything I need to do hopefully the other three won't take as long so so two down I got the front ones replaced now it's on to the back ones uh, the second one took mm, 15 minutes uh, like I said because once you figure out what you need to do um, it becomes pretty simple uh, I've realized I need to drill holes for all four um, so I think I may be able to do it even a little bit faster this time so we'll see gonna show you guys what I've been working with here you see these holes 
they're not always in the right alignment as I have found out as I remove the old stabilizer jack and go and install the new ones the holes don't necessarily match up so what I've had to do is drill new holes you know find the spot with the best alignment or try to get a center so that it works the best I've had to do that on all of them so that's the other one I think I still need to drill a hole in this one but we're back at it Here are the two front stabilizer jacks that were all warped and damaged. Here are the two rear stabilizer jacks that I just took off. And here are the new ones, rated at 5,000 pounds each. They're a bit more heavy duty. Looks cool too with a bit of a gold. There you go. So basically, once you figure out what to do, it takes 10 minutes to change one. So I could have done this in an hour, but that first one, you had to guess a little bit, you had to learn. So, hey, you had to get over a bit of uh, nervousness and anxiety about drilling into the steel beam of your trailer. But once you got used to that, it came pretty quick. Um, so hopefully these will work well. We'll test them when we get out on the road. I might put them down uh, in the front a bit more to support the tongue jack. But that's it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next video.